yes. Jimmy. Special. Cheers. Um, Don't drink. It's not gonna help me. It's oh, oh, that one's got a bounce in. Not today. What? They're not ready. What? It's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my TBR for October 2023. If you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom always has some fun little game or theme or way to pick my TBR. It's her way of being a part of this channel so this month she had me play beer pong with my father. And I would like to say that we are both very bad at beer pong so I'm going to insert the footage of us attempting to play beer pong and it's mostly just us missing and then just chaos. So enjoy that and then we'll start talking about the books that I have to read now. So without further ado, let us get okay. started. This is TBR Beer Pong. It's gonna take a long time. It is. So you're gonna take a shot. I if you get it in the cup, you have to take a drink. You're not drinking the water in the cup. At the underneath of each cup is a number. The number corresponds with a list of books that there is a theme. How about it, you two? Ready, set. Me first? No, me first. Because you're better. You're a basketball player. You're in the Hall of Fame. I'm not. Oh no. This is going to take so long. Maybe not. Not that long. <laughs> okay, pull it out. <laughs> Actually, drink first. Damn it! <laughs> this could be a problem. Did you miss again? Well, of course I did. Oh. oh. I don't know what I did oh, to the no. shot. <laughs> I don't know, look at it and see if you fucked it up. <laughs> Damn it. I don't drink. I don't do drinking. Excuse me? I drink without the games. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what did you drink? <laughs> Not today! <laughs> the games at the cottage are so long. <laughs> Whoever can get it in first! It's chaos. Wow. As you saw, each cup had a number on the bottom, so when we sunk one of the balls, that cup was the book that 
was associated with the number and those are the books that I have to read. And they all have a connection with beer pong in some ways. First book is Duel. This is by Jexa Bagley, illustrated by Aaron Bagley. And this is because it is a duel against two people in a game of beer pong. This is a middle grade graphic novel, but it follows sisters who, I guess, battle in some way. Fencing, I guess, but I don't know if it's like a metaphor. The next book is The Julian Game. This is by Ed L. Griffin, and this is because beer pong is a game, obviously. I got this book at a Dollar Tree back in like 2017 or something ridiculous like that, and I still have not read it. It is very short, so maybe this is the month that it actually gets read, but I do know that it involves catfishing in some way, so I'm assuming it's a YA, but apparently there's a website, thejuliangame.com, to find out who's playing. The next book that was chosen is Folded Notes from High School. This is by Matt Board, and this is because you usually start your beer pong journey in high school. This one has been on my TBR forever, but I do know that it follows a production of Grease and it's high school and somebody who should not have been chosen as either Danny or Sandy, I can't remember, gets chosen for that role and the other person is very popular and then they end up falling for each other so it's like the nerd and the popular person fall for each other and can love conquer all stereotypes. We'll see if we read this book. The next book that was chosen is A Legend by Mary Lou. Yes, I have not read this book yet, which is insane because it's like a staple of booktube, but this is because if you are good at beer pong, you may be called The Legend. But all I really know, honestly, about this book is that it's sci-fi and it's like Mary Lou's debut. I think I could be wrong about that one, but I do know that is like beloved on booktube, so I really should actually read the series by now. I do believe I have all the books. So maybe this is the month that I just binge read the Legend series. Next up is The Homecoming by Andrew Piper. This is because you also play beer pong at Homecoming. This is a thriller. It follows the Quinlans whose father dies, I believe, and he was estranged from them. And then in order to get the estate or the trust fund or whatever it is, the will, they have to stay at this secluded cabin for 30 days with no contact from the outside world. And I'm assuming shit goes down, but I'm hoping people die. We'll see though. And then the final book she thought was hilarious and it is You Must Not Miss because obviously in beer pong you must not miss. If it is the case of me and my father, we do not hit anything. So we miss quite a bit, but this is by Katrina Leno. All I really know about this one is the main character's name is Magpie, which I find quite interesting, but I do believe it follows a girl who's like slut shamed for some reason after a party. I do know that there's an alternate cover that is way better than this. I'm going to insert a picture if I can find it. I think this is another one that I found at a Dollar Tree, to be honest, but still have not read it. All right, everybody. So thank you for watching my father and I be terrible at beer pong. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!